My name is Mike Darno, and I'm about to rebuild a Macintosh notebook. Um, here we go. Here is the computer in question. Um, as you can see, when I press power, absolutely nothing happens. Um, that is because the motherboard is fried. I am going to replace it with this one. So I've got my broken laptop, my replacement motherboard, my good laptop with instructions on how to do this, my trusty tools, weird music, and icy. Uh, wish me luck. Alright, at this point I've removed the keyboard um, and also the first plate of here. So at this point the RAM is exposed. Um, I'm keeping everything as organized as possible. I've got a piece of paper with page numbers and screws. So far there's only two screws. But um, it's about to get icky. All right, at this point, I have removed the top and bottom case, um, as you can see. Um, this is exhausting, um, but I'm getting through it. I'm on page 16 out of, I think, 40. Um, of course, then I have to reverse everything I did. Uh, but we're looking good. We're very close to that, which is what we want. Um, as you can see, I have a lot more tools, and there are a lot more screws in my little collection. I'm actually writing in writing directly onto the computer, um, the number, the page number I'm on, um, corresponding to the screws, because um, I know that this part, when I'm putting it back together, um, it's really hard to match up um, the screws. You just see a bunch of holes and you've got a bunch of screws and it's like, where do I put them? So this is my trick that I have learned um, in my experiences. Okay, I just removed the display, so it's totally separate at this point. Um, I always hate that part because it's like, why do I have to re remove the display when I'm replacing the hard drive, but, or the motherboard, but that's just how it works. Everything's connected. Um, so now I'm on to optical drive removal, and then I should be able to swap things out. Um, as you can see, this, it's getting kind of dark, but this looks very similar to this, which is what we're going for. Woo! And yeah, I'm very tired. This is exhausting. This is the moment we've been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for. <laughs> um, hey, look, it's Twister. Um, okay, uh, look at this. Here's the old computer. And here is the new. Oh. Uh. Alright, in about an hour, I will be pressing power right here and it will turn on. Alright, as you can see, I have the um, display reconnected. Um, I have the optical drive back in. Um, all the wires are going through again. Um, yeah, it's just a couple more steps, putting the plates all back in the hard drive, and um, we'll have a functioning computer. Um, it's getting very exciting. I put in Block Party as my weird music, because um, it's a little more exciting. Alright, um, look at this. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's starting to look like an actual computer now. Um, luckily, the the motherboard that I bought actually came with a lot of the parts today that are attached to it, like the bottom shielding. So that made it a lot easier to put this all back together. Um, getting very close. I just need to put all the plastic parts on and then plug it in and rock out. All right, here we go. I'm putting the keyboard in. That's pretty much it. Um, got a cool computer. I mean, a completely reassembled computer. Um, I just need to put the battery in. I'm going to give it a little bit of charge before t doing the big task because I want to make sure it works. Um, but in just a few minutes, I'm going to do it. Um, I just pressed the power button and I heard the noise. Any second now, we will see. Video. Okay, um, I plugged it in and it, uh, before I plugged it in, I pressed power and it turned off all by itself and that made me very nervous and I realized the battery was totally dead, but alas, here it is, plugged in and working. I fixed my computer, look at that. What's next? 